Bitcoin has been a staggering investment. Is a crash coming? Whether you think Bitcoin is a new path to wealth or the biggest bubble since Beanie Babies, the cryptocurrency was the talk of the financial system Wednesday as it smashed through $11,000 per coin, up $1,000 in 24 hours and up a blistering 900 plus percent since the start of 2017. The digital currency revolution in Bitcoin, in particular, have drawn attention from the Prime Minister of South Korea, Federal Reserve Chair nominee Jerome H. Powell, academics, central banks and JP Morgan Chase Chief Executive Jamie Dimon. Even singer Katy Perry got into the act, posting a photo on Instagram of her asking Warren Buffett his thoughts on cryptocurrency. Chicago-based CME Group, the world's most diverse derivatives marketplace, is expected to launch a contract for Bitcoin futures next month. The Nasdaq stock market will start a Bitcoin futures site on its commodities trading platform in 2018. Wednesday's Bitcoin surge had Wall Street talking, bubble or new asset class. Either way, it's something that means something, said Brad McMillan, chief investment officer at Commonwealth Financial Network. Given the appreciation we've seen, everyone is talking about it. You have to respond to it like it or not. Bitcoin was created by an unknown person in 2009 under the alias of Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoins can be used to buy merchandise anonymously, without a middleman, and involving lower or no fees and no banks. The currency is traded on Bitcoin exchanges where people can buy and sell using various currencies. Bitcoins are a product of something called blockchain technology, and they are stored in digital wallets that exist in the cloud or on people's computers. The currency is unregulated, and its future is uncertain. No one owns the Bitcoin network. It is not tied to any government or country. Jay Blasky, a digital currency specialist at BitIRA, a retirement option for cryptocurrencies, said Bitcoin represents the next evolution of money.